Hi, it's Jamie Marsh from Lemonade Day, and we're here with our friends at Developer Town, which is a company that helps entrepreneurs launch their businesses. It's actually a perfect place for our kids to develop and hone their business plans and share them with us. They're going to be telling us about their site selection, their spend, save, and share goals, and lots of other good stuff. Let's check out their plans. Hi, it's Grace again, and I'm about to reveal my master plan for Lemonade Day. So. What I'm keeping for my lemonade stand are lemon cookies. I'm also keeping the lemon heads, the big ones, regular and strawberry mix. Hopefully we're gonna get to get the drive through spot. The things I'm adding are like maybe the mini lemon heads for the employees. Regular lemonade, so like the different flavors and 50 cents for more ice, just in case you're picky like my dad. And as I said so in the last episode, I'm gonna do the spend some, save some, give some. So my role as Grace's business partner uh, I think is a lot of uh, multifaceted actually. So we talk a lot about what it takes to make a profitable company. I've been working with Grace on her strategy. And as she has said, we look to save some, spend some, and give some. So she knows at the end of this, when we have our profit, that she can go out and buy something fun for herself. But at the same time, she needs to save a little bit. And then we'll find a charitable partner where we can make a donation as well. We're looking forward to another great Lemonade Day uh, 2016. So my business partner is my dad. So you start with the seed money, then you buy the supplies, and then you sell your product. And then the money you have left over after following all these steps is your profit. So, yeah, profit. <laughs> This is my plan for Elimination 2016. Hopefully my master plan will work. This is Grace signing out. Peace. This is the plan for my lemonade stand. It's gonna be a blast. Here's me and then uh, find the people. This is the house, with, like, it's not really a house, it's where my dad works. There's going to be a line of people because we're doing a live podcast. So it'll be live podcast. And my brother, I don't know where we're gonna get all the cookies because uh, we make them and if we're all out, like what will happen? My mom and my brother will go back home. So they will go back home over here. So they'll go in, here's the oven, and they'll make more cookies. And then they'll drive on back over here. We'll put them on the plate. So in past years, we had the lemonade stand at our house, which is kind of weird if you're trying to put it on social media. We didn't really want to do that. So this year, we're making a big change. We are putting our lemonade stand in a more public area so we can tweet it out and talk about it on Facebook. We're gonna be doing a live podcast from there uh, to give it a bigger feel, and we'll see how that results in profits. The money for my lemonade stain is one cup of lemonade is $5. And if you buy a cookie, it's $8. And if you buy like 15 cups, um, it'll be like, wait, so, I gotta do the math here. So, it's gonna be a dollar. Um, let's say you get two cups because I am way off here. We'll figure out those math details down the road, that's okay. Yeah, so we'll cross this out. Yeah. We don't need you. That's my plan for the lemonade stand. Now you've seen my plan, so so long for now. My name is Avery from Lemon Slimes and Bowties. Let's take a look at what I'm gonna do for this lemonade day. 
location, location, location. No matter where you are, you need to have customers wherever you go. Product is you need like one jug of classic lemonade and then another jug of secret lemonade, like your own recipe. Marketing, you want to have a source that gives you to different people. Like I have a Facebook page and strangers from all around the world know about me. And I also hand out flyers to friends and family. Supplies, so you're gonna need a lot of lemons and limes in my case, cups too. Price, I usually have the price around one or two dollars when I started off. I've progressed pretty far and I've made a lot of money from just one or two dollars of lemonade because I've sold a lot. And my goals are the spend, save, save, share method. My part in this whole process is just being his mentor, just being somebody there who can answer questions for him, guide him in a way that he needs to be guided, and just be there for support. What we like to do is a couple months before Lemonade Day actually happens is we sit down and we go over a list of things that he needs to do. It's all up to him, it's his business, so he gets to decide if he wants to spend, share, and save, and how much money of that he wants to allocate to those three things. So this year, I think the thing that I, I'm personally looking forward to is him making enough money to pay me back for all my gas that I used to drive him around with. So hopefully we hit that goal for some gas money for mom. The triple S method. The first S stands for spend. So if you're looking forward to like getting something or something you really wanted, it's a good way to get a little bit of the lemonade money you have and spend it on that. The second S um, is save. I would save most of my money for next year's lemonade stand. And the third S is share. You can share it with your friends, you can share it with your family, or anything like that, really. And that's the 3S system. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. Stay sharp. Hope you enjoyed seeing the kids' business plans. Stay tuned for the upcoming episode as we see how the kids put their plans into action. See you next time.